what's happening now. We are working on our housing projections between now and the end of 2023. And we're focused on three things. First is the time of year. We're only got a couple weeks left before kids go back to school and the parents start thinking about back to school shopping and getting back into a normal routine. So there's only a couple weeks left of the summer selling season, which has been red hot. The second thing we're looking at is interest rates, which has been all the talk of this year and last as they continue to creep up. And actually in the last two weeks, we've seen interest rates be not good. They've gone up from where they were in the May, June, and early July markets of them staying in the low sixes, high fives. We're now in the high sixes, low sevens, not good for buyers. And actually for you sellers out there, it's also limiting the buyer's purchasing power. The third thing we're gonna to continue to look at is the inventory. As we go into the end of the year, there tends to be some inventory that stacks up that may be giving buyers opportunity to get discounts on properties that still haven't sold as we go into the end of this year. However, with a limited amount of inventory, there's gonna be a limited amount of opportunities for buyers who are still lingering as we go through the end of this year. That's what's happening now. Check out our housing forecast if you get an opportunity because there's a lot of good intel there as well. I'm Steve Nader of Beaching Real Estate and that's what's happening now.